Hi guys, thank you for watching. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to do a design using dried flowers and also some glitters. Before adhering the nail tip on the nail, I measure it out to make sure it fits from side to side and I glue it on the nail using regular nail glue. I press them firmly for a few seconds to avoid any air bubbles and if there are any separation lines on the corners as you can see here, you can just run your brush and glue on top of it and it will be okay. After the glue dries out completely, I am using my e-file with a fine carbide bit and I am going over the extension only, not really the natural nail because this brings down a lot of product and I don't want to damage the natural nail and I am just blending the extension to the natural nail plate. After blending the artificial extension to the natural nail bed, I am using clippers to remove any excess tip that I don't want. I am actually just removing the number on this one. I am leaving it quite longer than usual because I really want to showcase the flowers. I love dried flowers and using clippers is going to help you a lot when you're doing stilettos because it already has the shape that you need and all you have to do is perfect it using a hand file. You can also do the same process when you're doing almond nails. It's going to help you tremendously and also I forgot to mention that this nail had already been prepped before I apply the tip and everything else the only thing that I'm missing is the primer and the dehydrator so as of right now I'm adding the hydrator and now I am adding primer I was experimenting and I was able to get this angle for you guys I absolutely love it because I feel like you can see a lot more detail than usual I know you guys wanted to see how I dip my brush in the monomer so here it is as of right now I am removing the air bubbles from the brush just pressing it down and I am dipping it in the powder because I am going to be adding a little bit of cover pink on this nail just to add a little bit more of dimension as usual, I don't apply the product right on the cuticle area, so you can see I leave a gap in between the cuticle and the actual product and then I push it towards the cuticle area later. If I need more monomer, I grab it, it just depends on the product that I'm using because they all have different consistencies. On this whole video, I am going to be using a number 14 brush and I am applying this cover pink to approximately half of the nail, blending it towards the tip. Moving on, I am using crystal clear acrylic and I am using two colors from my mermaid collection glitters. I am doing the blue first and I am fading it towards the cuticle area, kind of like falling glitter. And then I am going to be adding another line of the pink and another line of the blue and so on and so forth. And with monomer, I am going to be blending those colors together to create a lot more dimension and to create a beautiful design. So as I mentioned, this is my own personal collection. I created it about a year or a year and a half ago. I sold out completely when I sold it on Instagram. It is super beautiful for summer. That's why I named it Mermaid Collection. And if you guys want me to resell it, just let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely make more okay before I forget I wanted to point out that I am NOT draining any of the liquid from the brush when I'm applying this glitter because I wanted to be a little bit more runny so I can move the glitters around after everything dries I am using the same nail glue that I used previously I am removing the excess using my fingertip and I am making it a little bit sticky and then using a wax pencil I am placing the flower on the nail and pressing it down so it sticks to the nail plate I am going to be repeating the same process with all the flowers and this is the easiest way for me to place the flowers on the nail. It actually holds the flower down with all the petals and everything. I've tried using acrylic before and gel before and nothing holds them down as good as nail glue. So it is just my own personal preference. After applying all the flowers on the nail, I am moving on to adding more glitter because I want this nail to be super sparkly and super dimensional. I want it to look super cool from every single angle. I look at it and this is just chunky glitter from Easy Flow. It's iridescent. I am going to be leaving all the links down below to all the products that I'm using. And after I'm done with this one, I am going to be adding more chunky glitter, chunkier glitter I should say, to add way more dimension. 
I know I keep saying dimension, 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 but I want it to be super dimensional and to look super cool from every single angle as I mentioned. So again guys, remember to apply super thin because we are going to be encapsulating this nail. After I finally finished putting all the glitters on the nail, I am sealing them using crystal clear acrylic. This is just to hold them in place so when I encapsulate they don't move around. Moving on, I am going to be encapsulating this nail using crystal clear acrylic. I hope you guys can see as much detail as possible on how I encapsulate. I am super sorry because I went out of the frame a little bit when I was recording. I didn't even notice until I was editing the video. I am really working super hard to better this YouTube channel and to get more angles for you guys. I upgraded to a few more cameras and I am trying to figure out where to place them and everything. Just so you guys can see way more. I know you guys learn a lot from me I can read it in the comments and I appreciate all the love and support and I am super happy that I can help you guys out because when I started in my nail business and in the whole nail industry it was super hard for me to find someone to teach me so I referred to YouTube and I am super thankful that you guys have valued my work as much as you have and that I am able to help you guys out through my videos and my work I finished encapsulating this nail and I am checking it from every angle to make sure I am satisfied with it. I let it dry out completely and then I move on to filing the nail using an e-file and a fine carbide bit. The e-file that I am using right now is a JC Master e-file. It goes up to 30,000 rotations per minute and it is rated as one of the best ones out there in the UK as of right now on AliExpress.com. This e-file was sent out to me for me to review. I have been testing it out for a month now and I can definitely say that it is worth it. I usually don't stand behind any of the e-files I find on eBay, Amazon, AliExpress, none of that because they are cheaply made in my opinion and they are not worth the money but this one has definitely surprised me because it does the job. It is very high quality, the material is very high quality and I absolutely love it. Okay, so now after completing the filing, I am removing the dust and cleansing the nail and now I am adding a gel top coat and I am going to be curing this one under an LED lamp for 60 seconds. I am using this LED portable lamp that I picked up at E Nail Couture when I went to the Vegas show. I love this purchase. I take it everywhere with me. I am, oh by the way, I'm also doing the underneath of the nail. And I love this lamp because you guys can just plug it into any USB port and it works wonders. I love it. Okay, so now I am adding cuticle oil and this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next. And I will see you guys next time. Mwah.